Hey folks, this is QuickTime Gamer 90s with a batch of new information and screenshots from the next Arkham game, Arkham Knight. After searching the internet for quite a while, I found on NeoGAF, VG247 and computer and video games a lot of new information. This is gonna be the last Batman game for Rocksteady, they will work on, totally, on something totally new next time. It's uh, gonna feature a brand new villain, something made up by Rocksteady, and they they say it's gonna be the ultimate test for Batman. The Batmobile can be called at any moment with a press of a button, the city streets are much wider to accommodate the Batmobile, and you can rocket jump off ramps and you can do all sorts of cool maneuvers in the air and on the ground. You can e eject, jump out of the Batmobile, right into a super fast glide, and you can uh, break glass and knock out enemies. New moves, uh, you're gonna be able to use all your gadgets during flight. You now have a, count a counter throw, where you counter a guy and throw him into another guy. You have a new quick ground takedown, a quick backflip where you then throw a batarang like uh, straight in the enemy's face. For the predator sections you can now chain takedowns up to 4 enemies. You can for example uh, take out a guy by jumping out of a grate, then you can uh, jump onto the next one and so on. You can now enter grates from a distance, he will automatically do a jump or a roll and enter the grates. Riddle challenges have uh, been accommodated to focus around the car. For example, the first one you will enter is around is something like a Riddler racetrack where you have to activate walls and ramps and so on. Batmobile fires missiles and stun guns. It destroys anything it touches, so if you bump into cars, they pretty much go flying. It's uh, the Batmobile seems to be basically unstoppable. The story is that after Joker's death, the criminals decided to work together and their, clan, and their plan comes together in the night where they seemingly decide to kill the bat. Uh, Scarecrow has scattered bombs throughout Gotham, fear bombs. Oracle will be playing a larger role and you actually get to visit her and talk to her. There are tons of Batman easter eggs included. Of course, Kevin Connery is back as Batman. The new city, uh, the new Gotham, is about five times bigger than the city in Arkham City. It's split into three areas, and it seems to offer to have no load times at all. So entering bil buildings is seamless. They spend a bunch of time um, on the models, and they're way more detailed now. Pretty much, uh, one character has more polygons than the environment of Asylum. Batman will start off with the old bat suit and then upgrade to the next one. The game is running on an, uh, on their modified Unreal engines. All quickfire gadgets can now be used during fight. There have been slight combat tweaks. Arkham Knight apparently isn't just the name of the game, but it also is the name of the new villain. Um, fear takedowns can be used to take on groups as free people up to three people as long as they're close together and no one has spotted Batman. It seems like fear takedowns are the next step in combat takedowns. If you remember in uh, Arkham City, you could uh, sneak up to a guy and if you were surrounded by buddies, you could quickly take him out and then focus on the other guys. Apparently this fear takedown will, be, will allow you to chain those uh, takedowns and kill multiple assailants. This is a single player game, there is no multiplayer. There are no more pre-rendered cinematics, <clears throat> everything is done in engine. You can have large riots in game and there will be around 50 people flipping cars and looting stores, up to 50 people. Batman's cape, Gordon Strange and clothing in general now have apex cloth physics which is much more realistic and it changes in the wind and movement. When there's raining, a Batman suit gets all mm, wet and water runs around it, it's really nice. Uh, Gordon's face has wrinkles on it and those behave when he talks, it's really nice. The city is more detailed and even more realistic. There are uh, Halloween characters and balloons littering the streets, adding a nice creepy vibe. vibe. 
neon sign and various shops shine brightly around the city. The skyline, the skyline is uh, filled with helicopters and blimps. There are some nice effects with the steam, which is really cool. Now, a few more things. You can use the line launcher or on anything to create zip lines. You can do this mid-flight, so you can quickly land where you want. All uh, the enemies now have abilities to grapple Batman, not just big guys. Uh, roads won't have many vehicles, just some tug cars and cop cruisers. There are more riddle type challenges other than racing, and that's really nice. So by not uh, making this game cross generations, they've been able to push the machines to what they can do. Uh, or Rocksteady refers to this game as a real genuine next gen engine. Rocksteady again has focused on the single player experience and it's said to be the most uh, the best they can milk from this uh, single player experience. This finale has been in mind since uh, the development of Arkham City and Batmobile is designed to be pretty much the best car in any game. They say it takes up about 160 megabytes of memory in the game and it just about fit on an Xbox 360. It seems there are hundreds of thousands of polygons and textures and shaders used on the, on the card alone. Well, now a little bit about the closed uh, demo that was played for the game. It seems that the demo started off with the evacuation of Gotham because uh, Scarecrow put fear toxin gas all over. Each villain was doing their own mission to cause chaos and spread Batman thin. Two-Face and Penguin was shoot are, uh, were shooting cops on the street. Batman uh, noticed the bat signal and met up Gordon on the roof. Uh, he then swoops down and helps some police and armor vehicles through the streets. And pretty much he goes around knocking bad guys. Uh, Scarecrow th uh, Thug probably the ones with the yellow jackets I'm not sure this isn't specified he tries to throw a fear toxin at Batman he catches it and then he gets the information that we, he wants he takes a detour to find the riddle tug he leads him to an underground racetrack a lab where the riddler shows up and says he'll be testing uh, bats all night long he beats the racetrack the riddler says that he will use the data learn to make much harder tracks later on he visits the clock tower Oracle is in, it has statue head that you can pull back like Adam West switch and there are no red buttons but a scanner instead. It reveals a hidden room, Oracle was analyzing the toxin from the tug, it has radiation that she can track and Batman needs to reach an antenna in the Falcone shipping yard. He beats up some more goons and puts the tra and tracker on the antenna. As he walks out he is being shot by a guy in a militaristic bat suit flying through the air at him. The Batsuit has a big A on it. He knocks down Batman, stomps on his head and says you're going nowhere. He puts uh, his gun at Batman's head and then the screen fades to black and you hear a gunshot. And that was apparently the end of the demo. Which is nice. So just a little bit more about the Batmobile. Apparently this is the only car Batman has access to in the game. It zooms to your location at the touch of a button. You can do burnouts, jumps, boosts, rotate in a circle at full stop. It's bulletproof, you can smash through barricades, trees and building corners. Enemies will try and jump out of its way. Driving gameplay is balanced with out of a car gameplay so players don't just stay in it all the time. So. This is all the news I got for uh, the next Batman Arkham Knight game. It's really nice. I can't wait until I play it until it's out. Well, see you guys later. Cheers. Yeah.